ಬಾಳೆಕಾಯಿ ಬೆಂಗಾಲ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಪಲ್ಯ is a bit of the crunch of the coconut the bengal gram is cooked to the point that it is still firm but yields to the lightest of bites so the atmosphere is the sort that instantly transports you back to the turn of the last century that's the manner in which they preserved this house this is an eatery that goes back 92 years i'm sure that yogurt's going to have a very cooling very calming effect on that slightly warming slightly spicy avlaki ಸರ್ ಬೇರೆ ಏನಿದೆ ವಿ ರನ್ ದ ವೇ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಟು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಫ್ರಮ್ ಮಂಗಳೂರು ಡ್ರೈವಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಚಾರ್ಮಾಡಿ ಅಂಡ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಎಟ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಗುರುವಾಯ್ ಅನ್ ಕೆರೆ ವೆರ್ ಐ ಹರ್ಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಈಟ್ರಿ ಕಾಲ್ ಶೆನಾಯ್ ರೆಸ್ಟೋರೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವೇ ವಿ ವೆರೈವ್ಡ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಲೆವೆನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಾರ್ನಿಂಗ್ too late for breakfast too early for a meal i wonder what we will get inside at this point in time the only way to find out is to step in let's go namaskara how old is this place 91 years 91 years my grandfather namaskara sir your father yeah idu yaar nimme tande start madida ತಂದೆ ಅಮ್ಮ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನೀವು ಹಾಗಾದ್ರೆ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಇವರು ಫೋರ್ತ್ ಜನರೇಷನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಜಾಗದಲ್ಲಿ ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಸೊ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಬರೀ ಅದು ಹಂಚು ಚೇಂಜ್ ಮಾಡಿದೀರಾ ಸೊ ಇದೆಲ್ಲ ಯಾರು ನೀವು ಮಾಡುದ ಬಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಸಂಡಿಗೆ ಟೈಪ್ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಪ್ಪೆ ಮೇಡಿ ಅಪ್ಪೆ ಮೇಡಿ ಇದು ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಮ್ಯಾಂಗೋ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಮಾವಿನ ಮೇಡಿ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಇದು ಮಿಡಿ ಸಣ್ಣ ಮಿಡಿ ಆಗಿ ಇದು ರೌಂಡ್ ಆಗಿ ಮಿಡಿ ಸಣ್ಣದು ವಂಡರ್ಫುಲ್ ಇದು ಹಲ್ವಾ ಬಾ ಹಲ್ವಾ ಇದೆ ಕರ್ಜೂರ ಕರ್ಜೂರ ಡೇಟ್ ಹಲ್ವಾ ಚಟ್ಟಂಬಡಂಟು ಬರಟಂಬಡಂಟು ಮತ್ತೆ ಬನ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಪೂರಿ ಬಾಜಿ ಮಸರಡ ಬನ್ಸ್ ಬನ್ಸ್ ನಿಮ್ದು ಮಧ್ಯಾಹ್ನ ಊಟ ಎಷ್ಟು ಟೈಮ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಹನ್ನೆರಡು ಗಂಟೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಇವತ್ತು ಪೈನಾಪಲ್ ಮತ್ತೆ ಹಾಗಲ್ಕಾಯಿ ಮೆಣಸಕಾಯಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಸುಕ್ಕೆ ಸುಕ್ಕೆ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ಸೌತೆ ಬರಟೆ ಹಳಸಂಡೆ ಹಾಕಿ ಮತ್ತೆ ಬದನೆದು ತಳಸಂಡೆ ಮತ್ತೆ ದೂಪ ಸುಮಾರು ಬಗೆ ಇದೆ ಇವತ್ತಿನ ಮೆನ್ಯೂ ಜನರು ಹೇಳಿದಾರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದು ನೋಡಿ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಇವತ್ತು ನಿಮ್ದು ತಿಂಡಿ ಏನಿದೆ ಅದು ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು we've got a bunch of uh, the snacks already brought out by Mr. Shinoy he's a little shy to appear on camera but uh, the food out here certainly is not the food is trooped out readily to face the camera so what do we have here so i've got the biscuit roti here which is still hot nice i've got the buns of course uh, you can do without the buns in these parts i've got the uh, bonda and aloo bonda i also have a chatnam bade or the masala bade and this i'm told is a dali toy very homely very light a little bit of the seasoning of the sasve and then we have some eggplant preparation that is part of their lunch offering for the day well we have some kokum juice also that's made its way to our table here 
So the atmosphere is the sort that instantly transports you back to the turn of the last century. That's the manner in which they've preserved this house. This is an eatery that goes back 92 years. Mr. Shanoi, who's serving us, he's a third generation, and his daughter too is helping him. This is a business that's been around for three generations, and it seems likely it will carry on for the next few generations as well. I think I want to make a beginning with that biscuit roti. Ah, that's a roti that's crispy on the outside, soft within, containing with it all sorts of goodness. Mm. And a bit of sweetness too, that perhaps comes from some sugar. Oh, this is delicious. Absolutely gold. The biscuit roti is flaky on the outside, crunches to the bite, and then as you bite further, it's a bit soft. And within its folds, it contains a lovely mixture that is a combination of some coconut, some chilies, mustard, and a few other things. And also some sugar. So you got a bit of the warmth, you got a grainy bite of the coconut, and then you have the sweetness, the subtle sweetness of sugar that you're tasting on your palate. So this morning as I left Mangalore, I've done many a breakfast in Mangalore. I said, let's try and look for something interesting en route to Bengaluru. I received a few recommendations from you mentioning Shanoi Hotel here in Guruva and Kere. I said, let's drop in there. I knew that we would reach in this in-between time, so I wasn't sure of what we would get, but the very first bite or the very first item that they presented to me tells me this is certainly a place that should be bookmarked when you're on the road in this area. Mm. I love the manner in which it crunches. Let's move next to the buns. You have to exert a bit of a tug to get hold of a piece of the bun. It is a bit stretchy in its texture. There's a hint of sweetness that you get somewhere, but not so much the ripeness of the banana. Between the buns and the biscuit roti, my word certainly goes to the biscuit roti by a wide margin. It also feels a bit dry, so that's where I think this chutney will come into play. Mm, that coconut chutney is delicious too. Just some coconut, perhaps some chilies that go into it. I can't help myself from going back to this biscuit roti. You can actually see the texture of the roti in this. The flaky outside, a bit yielding in its softness on the inside and then the filling of the coconut, the chilies, some mustard seeds. Mm. So good. Super in there. It is excellent. Mm. I love that puffed pastry sort of a crunch on the outside. Let's taste like some of that dali tobe. Very simple, too simple in fact. There's a lentils floating in a very liquidy, watery broth. Can't help going back to that biscuit roti with every bite. Mm. It's a uh, grateful for your, uh, you know, you do all of that and let us know where are the good places to hang. But I learn so much from people like you who tell me where to go. Yes. So I think it's like a mutual thing. Yes. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. And See you. Have a pleasant journey back. You too. Bye bye. I thought 11 o'clock there will be nobody. So in a walk in, there were only a couple of tables taken. But now, it's packed. In the last few minutes, people seem to have mysteriously appeared. Although it's a little too early for lunch, perhaps for a bit of a snack on their way to Bengaluru or perhaps Mangaluru. I think next we're going to try some of that uh, chattambade. Mm. Very simple, sort of a chattambade. There's not too much happening in terms of spices, but feels very homely. And after all, it is a homely enterprise. The lady of the house is out there preparing the teas, the man of the house is going around serving customers, the daughter is at the cash till. So it is a family enterprise, one that has stood the test of time for over 92 years. Mmm. Mmm. 
That looks good. Let's also taste some of that bonda. There's no turmeric in the palya, so the potato is whitish. Mmm. I like the simplicity of the dishes here. They're not trying to do too much. They're trying to prepare those only recipes, perhaps the manner in which the generation that founded Sonoi restaurant here in Gurwain Kare prepared the dishes. The slivers of onion there somewhere, a bit of the warmth that comes from some green chili, some coriander, some lentils. Mm. I'm not try it. Nimne sir, you know? Huh? Mr. Vinod Nayak has told me that another dish to try out here is the avlaki. So the avlaki with the kadle or also the avlaki with the mosuru. I'm quite enjoying this alu bonda here, as you can see. Mm. Okay. Ha, mosuru kuda kodi sir. Some of that avlakki, which is also called the bajil in Mangaluru. And I'm told there's two ways you can taste it. With the kadle, which is the Bengal gram, a preparation with some coconut, some mustard, chilies, etc. Or you could also have it with some curd. Huh? Oh, baile, banana is there. Kacha, baile kai. So there's some raw banana too in that. I want to taste though that avlaki by itself first. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. What's interesting here is along with the warmth and the sweetness that you typically find in the avlaki or the bajil. Mm. There's also a bit of a pickled flavor. I don't know where that comes from, which is quite interesting and very different from the other bhajis that I've had in Mangaluru. It's almost a sort of flavor that you will get from uh, sesame oil. That's the sort of flavor that I'm tasting in that. Mm, so good. A bite of the coconut, a little bit of the sugar. I love stopping at places like these. Firstly, there's a lot of history. So you also know that hundreds and thousands of customers have passed through the doors of this establishment before you. I love the energy of places like these. And most importantly, the food. They're not trying to do too much. They don't have to appease anybody. Their dishes have stood the test of time for the last 90 years. And they know pretty much what their customers want. So although the preparations are simple, they are the sort that can almost not be faulted in any manner. Mm, I love that crystalline crunch of that sugar. The warmth that comes from the chili. Perhaps the Biyadgi mentioned kai. Let's now taste some of that Bale Kai Bengal Gram Palya. There's a bit of the crunch of the coconut. The Bengal Gram is cooked to the point that it is still firm but yields to the lightest of bites. It's quite creamy, starchy in its flavors with the raw banana. And I guess that's where that avlaki with its spicy pickled flavor sort of fervor will complement that palya rather well. Mm. I didn't know what I would find here at Hotel Chenoy, especially because it was that in between hour but I'm so happy, I'm so thrilled with all that I have found. Including this avlaki, channa and balekai palya. And now for some of that eggplant, some of the brinjal. What's also nice about the palyas that I'm tasting, whether it's the channa or the dali tove or perhaps that eggplant, they're all very light, very mild in their flavors. There's not too much happening in them. And then you've got things like the avlaki, the biscuit roti, which pack a bit of that spicy fervor. This time, some avlaki with the mosuru. Nice. I'm sure that yogurt's going to have a very cooling, very calming effect 
on that slightly warming, slightly spicy avlaki. Mm. Sir, where is it? Samosa. Is it easy? It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's easy. It's a slightly different flavor. I don't know. I'm going to try it. ಸಮೋಸಾಂಗ್ Have you eaten lunch here? Yeah. How is it? Very fine. Now we are going to eat here. Yes. We are going to eat here. We are going to eat here. So we are going to eat here. You won't get anywhere like that. Well, some samosa too has found its way to my table. But before I go for the samosa, I want to finish this masuru bajil. Mmm. Oh, it's busy there, it's busy there. You can see that steam escape from that samosa. This is a samosa that's very healthy. Apart from the fact that it's in a maida casing and fried in oil, but what's inside is of course you have the potato, but there are also things like beans, some carrot, etc. And it's sort of samosa perhaps that your mum may ideally want you to eat or would cook for you at home. Its shell is crisp, a little soft on the inside because it's just come off the oil. There's some tomato sauce that they serve this with. ಇದು ಸಾಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇಡ್ಲಿ ಮಾಡೋದಾ ಹೊರಗೆ ಹೊರಗಿಂದ ಟೆಂಡ ಕೋಕೋನಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸಮ್ ಶುಗರ್ ಇನ್ ದೇ ಟು ವೈಟ್ ರಿಫ್ರೆಶಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ The kokum sherbat feels a bit syrupy. My word goes to that bonda sherbat. So if you happen to be on the road going from Mudgere, Charwadi towards Dakshina Kannada towards Mangaluru, definitely stop at Hotel Shanoi here in Guruvayan Kare. Taste all these dishes that I have tasted. Don't miss out on the biscuit roti, don't miss out on the bajil, the avlaki, the bonda and actually almost everything and if possible also try their lunch here i haven't tried it yet but i definitely will return i'm told it's also the sort that makes for an interesting satisfying meal i hope you've enjoyed this short tiffin stop here at guru wine kare until the next time take care stay safe stay strong and happy eating and drinking ಇದು ಮನೆ ಇದೆ ಅಲ್ಲೂ ಕೂಡ ಒಂದು ಕೊಡಿ ಸಣ್ಣಿಗೆ ಅಲ್ಲ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಮಿಡಿ ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡಲ್ಲ ಅಪ್ಪೆ ಮಿಡಿ ಸುಮಾರು ಟ್ರೈ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೇವೆ ಲೋಕಲ್ ಮಿಡಿ ವೆಲ್ ವಿ ಗೋಡ್ ಬಂಚ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಶೆನಾಯ್ ರೆಸ್ಟೋರೆಂಟ್ ಗುರುವಾಯನ್ ಕೆರೆ ವಿತ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಫಗೆಟ್ ಐ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಬಿಸ್ಕಿಟ್ ರೋಟಿ ಸೂಪರ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಗೈಸ್ ಲಿವ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಇದು ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿ ರೆಸ್ಟೋರೆಂಟ್ ಸೊ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮನೇಲಿ ತಿಂತಾರ ಆ ತರ ಪೇಮೆಂಟ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾಯಕ ಅವ್ರು ಹೇಳ್ತಿದ್ರು ಸಾಯಂಕಾಲ ಕೆಲವು ದೋಸೆ ಕೂಡ ಇದೆ ಪೈನಾಪಲ್ ದೋಸೆ ಅದು ಸಮರ್ ನಲ್ಲಿ ಪೆಂಟಾಸ್ಟಿಕ್ಲೆಂಟಿ ಮೋರ್ ಟು ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಟು ಐ ಗೆಸ್ ದಟ್ ರೀಸನ್ ವೈ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಕೀಪ್ ಕಮಿಂಗ್ because each time they return to shanoi restaurant they find something new something different if you'd like to support the work that we do at food lovers tv do consider joining our membership community on youtube by hitting the join button below or on the home page you could pledge a nominal sum and receive special privileges like behind the scenes footage shoot updates access to live q and a's and a lot more you could support us on a patreon page as well For more info check out the links in the description below. If you like this video don't forget to subscribe, like, share and leave a comment below. Happy eating.